This is a Bronco defense penetration in the backfield. They got five sacks in their first two games. And 15 tackles for loss in the first two. First pass play, it is picked off. McNamara back to throw, got a little bit of time. Now he's got to get away from pressure, has to get it away. And there's that Western Michigan defense. Western Michigan backed up in their, in their end zone, but a good run by Borgay, who takes it for a first down. And Trayson Borgay reading that perfectly. 10 to 15 play drives would be ideal for them this afternoon. Borgay back in the gun. And looking deep down the sideline, the pass is caught by Sampucci. Sampucci taking it all the way in for the Bronco touchdown. Third and short. Sauerpack again pulls and calls his own number across the 50, and the Broncos have another first down. Yeah, Lisa Bluter, the women's basketball head coach, will join us. Sean Williams breaks free, and it's a big cane. Williams across the 20, gets pushed out inside the 10. And Kenai Lovely. Patterson's back in. So flip-flopping the tailbacks. McNamara back in the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Is your quarterback who was back in. He was the starter today for Western Michigan. And finds his receiver up the guts. Blake Bosma. A big cane. 27-yard attempt. Domsky's first field goal attempt is good. And the Broncos take a 10-7 edge. Between Iowa and LSU. Williams finds the seam, cuts it back, a first down and another big run. LaShawn Williams is having himself a first half. In the lineup right now with an injury, Eric All hasn't been involved in things. McNamara drops it off to Williams. LaShawn Williams thinking end zone, headed towards the end zone. He's got a touchdown. Looks towards his left. And finds Seth Anderson. 50% conversion rate on third down here so far. Remember, they started two for two. McNamara with some time this time and launches it from the 40-yard line, going for the end zone. The pass is broken up and intercepted in the end zone. Block into the end zone, and it'll be a safety for Iowa. You know, here we go, here we go, Hawks. Three tight ends set. And using all kinds of running backs. Kamari Moulton with the carry. Bustle finishing it off defensively. Moulton again in the backfield, showing a power formation. Moulton takes oh, a yes. off in his first career touchdown. Three receivers set to the left side. McNamara takes a yes. peek. And the contact is made, Eric Hall hangs on, and the two-point conversion is successful. Third and 22. This drive has been going in all the wrong directions here for Western Michigan, and a flag coming out, the ball's popped loose. Iowa has it, but we'll see what the laundry's about. Iowa with a fumble recovery. Well, you know, I think our answer is gonna be the snap here coming up. There's no challenge here so far from the Iowa side. They're going to give Moulton another chance, and he makes good on it. How about a couple of touchdowns for the freshman today? Anthony married a field hockey player, so he demanded that we show the number one ranked team in the country. McNamara drops back and finds Eric Hall. That's a big cane, and it's what kind of everyone maybe in the stadium has been waiting for. Shiftiness here with this offense and this play call. <laughs> On the end around, big yardage for Seth Anderson. And a flag coming in late. A 31 yard attempt here by Drew Stevens, meanwhile. And the kick is up and the kick is good. I believe it is the fourth best team in the conference. Hawkeyes going for it on fourth down. X White finds the end zone. Look at Lance Taylor. 
Now he's learned under Brian Kelly and Nick Saban has quite the pedigree, spent some time in the NFL and uh, college football world.